3Com Corporation was a digital electronics manufacturer best known for its computer network infrastructure products. The company was co-founded in 1979 by Robert Metcalf, Howard Charney, Bruce Borden, and Greg Shaw and recruited Bill Krauss from Hewlett-Packard to be its president in February 1981 when it raised its first round of venture capital. Metcalf has explained that he came up with the name 3Com as a contraction of computer communication compatibility, with its focus on deploying the Ethernet technology that he had co-invented, which enabled the networking of computers. 3Com provided network interface controllers and switches, routers, wireless access points and controllers, IP voice systems, and intrusion prevention systems. The company was based in Massachusetts, USA. From its 2007 acquisition of 100% ownership of H3C Technologies Company, Limited a Euro initially a joint venture with China-based Huawei Technologies a Euro 3Com achieved a leading market presence in China, and a significant networking market share in Europe, Asia, and the Americas. 3Com products were sold under the brands 3Com, H3C, and Tipping Point. On April 12, 2010. Hewlett Packard completed the acquisition of 3Com. Since the acquisition, 3Com has been fully absorbed by Hewlett Packard and no longer exists as a separate entity. History. Equals before 3Com, PARC equals, after reading an article on Alonit, Bob Metcalf became interested in the topic of computer networking. Alonit was an over the air wide area network system in Hawaii using UHF radios and made several assumptions that Metcalf thought would not be correct in practice. He developed his own theories of how to manage traffic and began to consider an Alonit in a wire networking system. In 1972, he joined Xerox PARC to develop these ideas, and after pairing up with David Boggs, the two had early 3 MIT S versions of Ethernet working in 1973. They then went on to build up a networking protocol known as PARC Universal Packet, with the entire system ready for build out by late 1974. At this point, Xerox management did nothing with it, even after being approached by prospective customers. Increasingly upset by management's lack of interest, Metcalf left Xerox in 1975, but was lured back again the next year. Further development followed resulting in the seminal Xerox Network Systems Protocol, which was completed by 1978. Once again, Metcalf found management was unwilling to actually do anything with the product, and threatened to leave. Nothing followed, and in 1979 he left the company. Equals founding and early days equals, Metcalf subsequently co-founded 3Com in 1979. 3Com began making Ethernet adapter cards for many early 1980s computer systems, including the DECLSI 11, DEC VAX 11, and the IBM PC. In the mid 1980s, 3Com branded their Ethernet technology as Ether Series, while introducing a range of software and PC based equipment to provide shared services over a local area network using XNS protocols. These protocols were branded EtherShare. EtherPrint, EtherMail, and Ether3270. The company's network software products included 3Plus Share File and Printer Sharing, 3Plus Mail Email, 3Plus Remote for routing XNS over a PC serial port, NetConnect for routing XNS between Ethernets, MultiConnect was a chassis based multi port 10 BASE2 Ethernet repeater, 3 Server, a server-grade PC for running 3-plus services. 3-station, a diskless workstation. 3-plus open file and printer sharing. Ethterm terminal emulation. Ether Probe LAN analysis software. Dynamic access software products for Ethernet load balancing, response time, and RMON2 distributed monitoring. 3Com's expansion beyond its original base of PC and thin Ethernet products began in 1987 when it merged with Bridge Communications. This provided a range of equipment based on Motorola 68000 processors and using XNS protocols compatibly with 3Com's Ethterm PC software. CS-1, CS-200 communication servers, Ethernet bridges and XNS routers. GS-1X25X25 Gateway, 
CS slash 1 SNA SNA Gateway, NCS slash 1 Network Control Software running on a Sun Microsystems computer. By 1995, 3Com status was such that they were able to enter into an agreement with the city of San Francisco to pay $900,000 per year for the naming rights to Candlestick Park. That agreement ended in 2002. Equals 1997 Euro 2000 equals. In 1997, 3Com merged with US Robotics, a maker of dial-up modems, and owner of Palm, Incorporated. US Robotics was known for its sports to line of consumer-oriented modems, as well as its courier business class modem line. In addition to consumer network electronics, US Robotics was a well-known manufacturer of a highly regarded dial-up access server, the Total Control Hub. Rebadged by 3Com as the Total Control 1000, based largely on its courier modem technology. This key business product competed against Cisco's American Samoa 5200 access server line in the mid 1990s as the explosion of the Internet led to service provider investment in dial up access server equipment. 3Com continued the development of the Total Control line until it was eventually spun off as a part of Comworks, which was then acquired by Ute Starsom. In August 1998, Bruce Claflin was named Chief Operations Officer. The modem business was rapidly shrinking. 3Com attempted to enter the DSL business, but was not successful. In the lucrative server network interface card business, 3Com remained second in market share, after Intel. 3Com never managed to beat Intel with its own products or even with joint ventures with Browardsom. It started developing gigabit Ethernet cards in-house but later scrapped the plans. Later, it formed a joint venture with Browardsom, where Browardsom would develop the main ASIC component and the NIC would be 3Com branded. In 1999 3Com acquired NBX, a Boston company with an Ethernet-based phone system for small and medium-sized businesses. This product proved popular with 3Com's existing distribution channel and saw rapid growth and adoption. As one of the first companies to deliver a complete networked phone system, and increased its distribution channel with larger telephony partners such as Southwestern Bell and Metropark Communications, 3Com helped make VoIP into a safe and practical technology with wide adoption. 3Com tried to move into the smart consumer appliances business and on June 2000, 3Com acquired Internet Radio Startup Kerbango for $80 million US dollars. It developed its Audrey appliance, which made an appearance on the Oprah Winfrey show. It scrapped the Audrey and Kerbango products less than a year later. In March 2000, in a highly public and criticized move, 3Com exited the high-end core routers and switched market to focus on other areas of the business. The core builder Ethernet and ATMLAN switches. Path Builder and Net Builder 1 routers were all discontinued June 2000. Core Builder products and the customer base was migrated over to Extreme Networks. The Path Builder and Net Builder were transitioned to Motorola. 3Com focused its efforts from 2000 to 2003 on building up the Home Connect, Office Connect, SuperStack, NBX, and Total Control product lines. Due to this perceived exit from the enterprise market, 3Com would never gain momentum with large customers or carriers again. In July 2000, 3Com spun off Palm as an independent company. After the IPO, 3Com still owned 80% of Palm, but 3Com's market capitalization was smaller than Palm's. U.S. Robotics was also spun out again as a separate company at this time. Equals 2001 and beyond equals, in January 2001, Claflin became Chief Executive Officer, replacing Eric Benema, CEO from 1990 to 2000. He was criticized for the costly diversification in the mobile handheld computer market. At this point, the company's main cash cow, the network interface card business, was also shrinking rapidly, mainly because the functionality was integrated into the Southbridge of many motherboards. The company started slashing or selling divisions and going through numerous rounds of layoffs. The company went from employing more than 12,000 employees to fewer than 2,000. In May 2003, the company moved its Silicon Valley Santa Clara headquarters to Marlborough, Massachusetts. It also formed a venture called H3C with Huawei, 
whereby 3Com would sell and rebrand products under the joint venture. In 2003, 3Com sold its Comworks Corporation subsidiary to Ute Starsom, Inc. Comworks was based in Rolling Meadows, Illinois, and developed wireline telecommunications and wireless infrastructure technologies. In January 2006, Claflin announced he would be leaving the company. In January 2006 a Scott Murray became CEO of 3Com and chairman of H3C Technology in China, a joint venture with Huawei Technology. Murray voluntarily resigned from the company in August 2006 over his concerns about the questionable business ethics of Huawei and potential cybersecurity risks posed by Huawei. Edgar Masri returned to 3Com to head as president and CEO following Murray's departure. In September 2007, Bain Capital agreed to buy the company for $2.2 billion, with minority equity financing from Huawei Technologies. However, the deal met with U.S. government regulatory opposition and it fell through early in 2008, following concerns over Huawei's risk of conducting cybersecurity threats against the United States government and its allies, Huawei's former dealings in Iran, and Huawei being operated by a former general in China's People's Liberation Army. Edgar Masri left the company in April 2008, partially as a result of the failed Bain transaction. In April 2008, Robert Mao was named Chief Executive Officer, and Ron Sieg made President and Chief Operating Officer. In fiscal year 2008 ended May 30, 2008, 3Com had annual revenue of $1.3 billion and more than 6,000 employees in over 40 countries. In September 2008, 3Com reported financial results for its fiscal 2009 first quarter, which ended August 29, 2008. Revenue in the quarter was $342.7 million compared to revenue of $319.4 million in the corresponding period in fiscal 2008, a 7% increase. Net income in the quarter was $79.8 million, or 20 cents per diluted share, compared with a net loss of $18.7 million, or 5 cents per share, in the first quarter of fiscal year 2008. The company reported it had more than 2,700 engineers, with more than 1,400 U.S. and nearly 180 Chinese-issued patents, more than 1050 pending Chinese applications as well as pending applications for 35 separate inventions outside of China that cover a wide range of networking technologies. Equals acquisition by HP equals, on November 11, 2009, 3Com and Hewlett-Packard announced that Hewlett-Packard will be acquiring 3Com for $2.7 billion in cash. On April 12, 2010, Hewlett-Packard completed its acquisition of 3Com Corporation at a price of $7.90 per share in cash or an enterprise value of approximately $2.7 billion. Products Fixed configuration Ethernet switches including stackable switches, 3Com brand Gigabit switches switch 5500G, 4800G, 4500G, 4200G, baseline, office connect. 3Com brand Fast Ethernet switches switch 5500, 4500, 4210, baseline, office connect. H3C brand switches S5600, S5500. S5100, S3600, S3610, S3100. Modular chassis switches, 3Com brand 8800, 7900E, 7500. H3C brand S9500, S7500, S7500E. Wide area network routers, wireless access points, adapters, and connectivity products. Internet access gateways and firewalls, both wired and wireless, network management applications, network security platforms including the tipping point intrusion prevention system. IP telephony applications including PBX and CTI solutions. 3Com's telecommunications solutions utilize VoIP in session initiation protocol. Voice platforms include VCX and NBX. Local Area Network Interface Cards, IP Video Surveillance and Network Storage, Consumer USB Webcams and Associated Software, the 3Com Laser Library. Equals Acquisitions Equals, 
3 com came close to being acquired by Unix workstation company, Convergent Technologies, abandoning the pact just two days before a vote was scheduled in March 1986. Later, 3 com went on to acquire the following, Bridge Communications in 1987, BICC Data Networks in 1992, StarTech in 1993, Synonetics in 1993, Centrum in 1994, NICECOM in 1994, Access Works, Sunix Communications, Primary Access, and Chipcom in 1995, Axon and OnStream Networks in 1996, US Robotics Merger Acquisition in 1997, NBX in 1999, Kerbango in 2000, Tipping Point in 2005, Huawei 3Com in 2007. Equals former subsidiaries equals Comworks Corporation was a subsidiary of 3Com Corporation, based in Rolling Meadows, Illinois. It was sold to Ute Starsom, Inc. of Alameda, California in 2003. Comworks was formerly the carrier network business unit of 3Com, comprising several acquired companies, U.S. Robotics, Call Technologies, and Landsource. Comworks was able to use technology from each company to create IP soft switch and IP communications software. U.S. Robotics provided media gateways and soft switch technology. Call Technologies provided unified messaging software. Landsource provided fax over IP software that was integrated with the unified messaging platform. The carrier network business unit of 3Com developed an IWF solution that became the first and dominant 2G CDMA wireless data gateway product. In partnership with Unwired Planet and Qualcomm QuickNet Connect was launched allowing for a breakthrough of 6 second connect times versus the standard solution which required modems to connect the call. This product solution was deployed successfully throughout the United States, Japan, and Korea covering the 2G CDMA market sample carriers included Sprint. It led to follow-on products that became core to Comworks now you'd star some offerings including the 2.5 and 3G packet data gateway products known as PDSN and Home Agents. Comworks slash 3Com co-developed an H323 based soft switch with AT&T in 1998 for use in a transparent trunking application for AT&T's residential long-distance customers. In this solution. Long-distance telephone calls were redirected from the LEC's Ingress Class 5 switch to the Total Control 1000 Media Gateway, where it was converted from TDM to IP and transported across AT&T's WorldNet IP backbone. When it reached the destination, it was passed to the Egress LEC's Class 5 switch as an Unterrick data call. Comworks modified the gateway and soft switch software to support SIP for MCI WorldCom's hosted business offering in 2000. Although 3Com sold Comworks to Ute Starsom, they retained intellectual property rights to the soft switch technology. After modifying the software to enable enterprise PBX features, 3Com released this technology as VCX, the industry's first pure SIP PBX, in 2003. See also 3 Station Busy Override, List of Acquisitions by Hewlett Packard References, this article is based on material taken from the Free Online Dictionary of Computing prior to November 1, 2008 and incorporated under the relicensing terms of the GFDL, version 1.3 or later. Bibliography External links, HP Networking, 3Com, Routers, Switches, BoIP, Wireless Network Management Official Website Archived from the original on April 8, 2010 Official H3C Technologies Company Site, Eric Benema and the Turnaround of 3Com, Interview with Sramanamitra.com